All right, now we come to examples. The first set of examples comes from the internet. All right, so this is data deluge examples from the internet. Here's a nice slide I found in an Oracle talk. Uh, and um, it tells you what happens every 60 seconds. It says that, um, what does it say? It says there's 700,000 uh, Facebook updates. It says there are 168 million emails are sent. 700,000 search queries. Uh, 13,000 uh, music uh, streaming on Pandora. 12,000 ads on Craigslist. And so on. So this is pretty impressive. What happens every minute? And um, it's this is driving internet activity. And of course, the things like blogs, which are higher value, there are fewer blogs per minute. Just um, uh, 1,500 posts and 60 new blogs every minute. So that's one blog a second. You won't be able to read all of those. No, Skype already has 370,000 <coughs> uh, minute voice calls uh, going on every every minute. So that's quite impressive. So this says, uh, this is actually from the IBM talk from the Berkeley Big Data Conference. It uh, discusses uh, where the data is coming from. We have on the left the basic internet, 12 terabytes of tweet data every day. Uh, 25 terabytes of Facebook log data, and it doesn't actually know how much data Google has. Um, other important uh, data sources are RFID tags, which are basically describing the inventory uh, and, lo and location of, of entities in, in industry. There are 30 billion of such tags already today. There are only 1.3 billion in 2005. We have 4.6 billion camera phones available. So that's uh, responsible for the explosion and uploaded images. And of course, we have hundreds of millions of GPS devices. That GPS data is uh, uh, driving the data deluge. In the energy area, we have 76 million smart meters in 2009. 200 million smart meters in 2014. So this is Driving the field of energy informatics, which is how we produce more efficient, responsive power, and and uh, do not have brownouts and things like that, using um, using the data on usage in intelligent fashions. Here's a nice um, plot from a company called Jess, called the Geosocial Universe, and it has in the middle the uh, 5.3 billion cell phones. And then around there we have, uh, floating around, we have various sources of data, of which the largest is Skype at 663 million. And it goes through Gmail and Hotmail and Facebook and Yahoo and, and all sorts of other LinkedIn and MySpace and so on. So this is the universe of data that's driving social interactions.